Good morning, this is Erwin St. Rose reporting for WKEJ News in Chicago. An office was vacant, a move made. After 14 years with the New Orleans Saints, Ryan Pace was gone. He had become the Bears general manager. Pace made a lot, made a lasting impression on the Saints front office culture, and now he's changing the Bears. His first running camp opens Wednesday. The office has been Pace's for six months, but his shelves remain empty, minus a couple of framed pictures. He has added to other places in Hallis Hollow, starting with coach John Fox. Pays has hired more than 30 people in football operations since joining the Bears. That phase is over, Pays said. Now we're at a point and we have, but even more where we install our philosophies within football operations, within scouting. The entire Bears personnel department will join the coaches at camp where scouting manuals and philosophies about roster building will be detailed. He wants the coaching staff and personnel department to connect at every level. He wants camaraderie. It helps when adversity hits, he said. His wife, Stephanie, thinks he he should stick to football, but playing acoustic guitar is a therapeutic hobby for him. It's important to have have music always playing in your life, said Pace, who enjoys country music and singer-songwriters such as Damian Rice, Ed Sheeran, and David Gray. When Pace reads, he reads out football. Offensive coordinator Adam Gates recently referred, referred referred him to Pete Carroll's book, Win forever, live, work, and feel like a champion. There's always talking, there's, there's always taking thoughts and ideas from other people and kind of molding them into your own pace. Set. Those who have worked with him say pace lives by the three F's family, football, and fitness. And he's a freak when it comes to fitness. His relentless training for triathlons is his diversion. On July 12th, pace completed the half triathlon in California in five hours, 53 minutes, and 49 seconds. It was about 30 minutes or slower than I usually do, pace said. He didn't blame work for that. It was only at his wife's urging that he competed in it. There's just, there just has been so much to do, including an overall the Bears approach to fitness. Pace raves about new hires, Nate Bresky, head trainer, Jason George, strength and conditioning coach, and John Gibson, sports science coordinator and dietitian. He wants the Bears to be cutting edge. Gibson, for example, has an Olympic background. Bears president Ted Phillips said Pace's staff is working on new modalities that we've never heard, never had here before. It's sports science, it's nutrition, it's sleep studies, it's recovery programs, it's all different things to optimize your performance pace. Said, I want our players to walk in here and know, hey, we've got the best thing going. There is always this tendency to look outside the organization because there are gurus all over the city. I want them to feel like we're going to do everything to make them the best place they can be. Pace, uh, pace has a mis- mischievous side. Montana and Loomis would suggest that his new colleagues relax or risk becoming a target for it. He's a pretty good he's a pretty good practical joker, Loomis said. That's when you least expect it. He's going to find something that catches you off guard. It'll happen with his staff more often than not. He's gotten me more than once. Any examples? He might take one of the dirtiest coach jock straps and put it in somebody's locker or something like that. Not that I said. He likes to do little stuff like that. He lightens the mood. It's all part of Pace's people skills. His ways with people led to an instant connection with Fox and spurred his rise from Saints intern to Bears GM. Pace has a personal touch, whether it's sending a care, sending care packages of beer and candy to his scouts on road trips, or sending college football, sending college coaches footballs out of gratitude. The, only, the one thing I miss about having him here is that he was always a guy who would come and remind me about, hey, we need to get a conference call going with with our scouts and get them up to date. Loomis said. He informed me when something, when someone was having an issue or a problem, whether it was personal or business. He wanted to make sure we got him taken care of. He was just always looking out for people on our staff. And it helps. All those little things that he does is because he cares about the person. Fontenot said, that's more important than anything else. People see that. That's why people have, have and always will work very hard for him. From signing and releasing defensive end Ray McDonald after his latest domestic violence incident to the contract situations of running back Matt Forte in tight end until it's Bennett, Pace's pace already has dealt with newsworthy situations. That stuff can't bother you, Fox said. You sign up for this. There's criticism that comes with it daily. For his age, it's just how he's handled it. He's stayed even keeled. It hasn't been too big for him, Pace said. He doesn't regret signing McDonald. We'll never be a team that, that lets things linger, he said, whether it's success or failure, going to move on and continue the progress. That's one of the things that has impressed Phillips and Chairman George McCaskey since Pace arrived. Before the draft, Pace wowed them with new program with a new program, the information technology department installed that compares NFL players with potential draft picks. 
Last week, Phillips joined Pace and new director of football administration, Joey Lane, at a meeting about salary cap matters. Phillips was handed four pages of notes during a presentation on Pace's 90-inch TV screen. Here's a way of cutting through the, the minute when you're not sitting in a meeting for two hours listening to an hour and a half of stuff you don't really care about, Phillips said. He gets to write, he gets right to the heart of it. Pace can command the room. He's going to be passionate about every decision, Fontenot said, but he wants to include others. He doesn't lord over you, McCaskey said. People do gravitate toward him. Pace now is meeting with members of other departments. He has taken a special interest in game presentation after attending a Blackhawks game in the Stanley Cup final. He's making a positive change in our culture in teams in terms of high energy, collaborative nature, and making people feel good about what their job is, Phillips said. It makes everyone feel like they're part of what we're trying to accomplish, which is which is a consistently winning team. This has been Erwin St. Rose reporting for the UKEJ News in Chicago. Have a great day. On to next time, Chicago.